Mysterious butterfly human creature appears in West Virginia, USA. This story sounds like a work of fiction, comic book writer. It was a muscular humanoid monster, over 2 meters tall with colorful red eyes, huge brown wings, a creature that could fly straight up into the sky from a standing position, and fly at tremendous speed, a creature that attacks, pets and brings terror to all who see it. But over the course of the year in the mid-1960s, more than 100 different residents of a small town in western Virginia saw this horrible creature cause terror in their community. They saw the butterfly. In early September 1966, a strange bird was seen around Point Pleasant, West Virginia, USA. On November 12, five grave diggers said they saw a brown human-like creature, rising into the sky from nearby trees and flying over their heads. But it was not until three days later that this creature really scared the residents here with a fairly close encounter. On November 15, two young couples were driving together near the McClintic Wildlife Sanctuary off Point Pleasant. This place is known locally as TNT as it was used as an explosives depot during World War II and there are many abandoned chemicals and industrial plants in the vicinity. Later that night, the couple approached a power plant and found its door wide open. Then they saw two huge red eyes emitting a dazzling light towards them. These round, hypnotic staring disc-shaped eyes are connected to a body they say is human in shape but larger, perhaps 1.8 meters to over 2 meters tall. It has huge wings that close at the back. It has a wingspan of about 3.4 meters and chases after the car, even though they are traveling at 160 kilometers per hour. The men eventually reached Point Pleasant City territory, where their pursuer turned around and disappeared. They went to the local police station and told what they had seen. Although the local police found nothing at TNT, they believe the couple did see something. Over the next few days, reports of the giant bird threatening the local population reported to the police headquarters with increasing frequency. Many writers have experienced the creature swooping down directly above them, along with, along with TV and radio reception interruptions across the area. A man has a broken TV in Salem, 145 kilometers from Point Pleasant. Just as his TV stopped working, the dog outside on the porch purred. He went out to check and saw two bright red lights in the grass shed, right where his dog had run away. The man, affected by fear, returned to the house, closing all the windows and his own possessions. That night he slept with a gun beside him. His dog was never seen again. Wikipedia photo of Mothman perched on a bridge. Perhaps, the most chilling story involving butterfly people happened on November 16, 1966. A young mother was driving to see some friends who had an apartment in the TNT area. She said she saw a strange red light in the sky and when she reached the house of her friends, she heard something rustling near her car. It's like lying down, she said. It slowly rose from the ground. A huge gray thing, bigger than a man with a terrifyingly bright gaze. Panicked, she hugged her daughter and ran quickly into the house, hastily closing the door behind her. The creature followed perched on the porch and stared out the window. The police were called and by the time they got there the butterfly was gone. During the next year, the butterfly was seen by numerous witnesses, including firefighters and pilots. Gradually, these rumors changed to cases of UFOs, unidentified flying objects, strange lights, and men in black. At 5 p.m. on December 15, 1967, the Silver Bridge connecting Point Pleasant with Ohio suddenly collapsed, 46 people died, and the residents of Point Pleasant were forced to face their real fears, not their real fears. Right with imaginary monsters. This creature's fear-inducing power became meaningless and it was gradually forgotten. However, many people still believe that this disaster of cannabis collapse could be the bu-